I think I need more sprint. I think that's a, uh... Something I've learned. I need more sprint. Because... When shit gets real like that... I need to be able to run. For a long period of time. Being only able to run for a few seconds is really messing me up. Cause look at this. Once I get down to the lower part of that, I'm screwed. He's all like, Ugh, uh, And that's not good. I also would like to get to that speed recovery one. Cause that'd be really great. Alright, I'm just running back here to get some ammo. If the ammo's still in the box, nope. It is not still around here. I guess one there was. But it might despawn because I died. Which... Would be logical. And also illogical, but hey. We're in a horror world. <sighs> but at least I'm alive. Joey! So how about them chainsaws? The elevator is stopped at the top. Let's look for another way up. Alright. I can hear someone around here, so let's be careful, all right? Oh, it's just the elevator. Okay, that's fine. This is what the holdup was. <laughs> we'll leave him alone. I want to enter the other room. I like how it gave me matches. It's like, well, just in case you don't have matches to burn the guy and get him out of the way. Here. Okay. Jono Sebastian Casianos, May 17th, 2006. Eight months since Mira and I were married, and you, little Lily, are the result of our love. Oh no, he had a daughter too? This guy's gonna have a tragic history. I can't wait for two months to pass so that I can finally meet you. Oh, he hasn't had her just yet. But I must admit that I'm scared. I face countless dangers in my job, but knowing that I'm gonna be a dad is the scariest thing of all. I promise to love you, and to protect you with every fiber of my being as long as I'm in this world. I will enter this stage of my life in the same way I do every important task, with a full heart and the desire to do the best that I can. Just know that your mother and I love you already and cannot wait to welcome you to this sometimes harsh world. Man, that was a really great way to jinx yourself. A uh, broken sink in a bathroom! How awful! Is this supposed to be like my detective desk or something? And I'm just kind of... I'm a detective who was sent to investigate all the shit that was happening in the village, but then I was eventually captured and... They manipulated me, and so I don't know what's actually going on. Kind of. Might be the case. Uh, we'll leave that still. Open! Oh, <laughs> I tried. Hello! I passed some really perilous things. You know, like shitloads of enemies. That was... that was scary, lady. You wouldn't know true terror. Even if you are in my brain. Okay. Let's see what we got for upgrades. Uh... Don't have nearly enough to do damage multiplier. What about critical? Wow, that is really far off. Okay. How about sprinting? Don't have enough for sprinting. I'm just barely off of sprinting. I would really love the recovery speed. I'm sure that's actually going to be incredibly useful to me. Uh, is there anything I can grab right now? I don't really care about fire rate because... Honestly, the fire rate probably saves me a little bit. The low fire, or the, yeah, the really low fire rate. Or would I say high fire rate? It takes a while between each shot, and that makes me somewhat aim. <laughs> you know? Now, reload capacity, on the other hand, might be good. Um, should I upgrade my shotgun? I don't know. Agony bolts. 3,000, inflicts extra damage to enemy struck. I suck with the harpoon bolts, though, so that's the problem with that. Although, I guess if I upgrade the weapon thing and decrease the charge time, that'd be really good. Because my problem was, like, waiting for it to charge, and then I'm like, eh, and I hardly do much with it. Alright. I will go for one more upgrade, one more cheap upgrade. 
Maybe. <gasps> if I get clip capacity, that would refill my sniper rifle, which would be awesome. But I don't want to spend too much money, because I do want to put some points down into... Uh, sprinting. Or critical damage! Critical damage would be good, too. Oh, hey, I can level up and have 30 matches! Which actually might be pretty useful if I ever get to the point where I'm actually decent at using them in the middle of combat. It's just once enemies get within the fucking range to even be on top of a body that you're burning, you're getting screwed over already. And that can be slightly problematic. Oh, that level 50, or that, that 50 handgun ammo? That sounds awesome. I want it. I legitimately want that. So later on, if my handgun is like, awesome, it's just gonna be like, Oh, by the way, I have 50 bullets. Pew, 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 and I never run out. Maybe the next thing I should do is the fucking weapon sway, because that's been kind of really screwing me over. And sucking at aiming has been screwing me over sometimes, too. But I'm gonna put most of the blame on the, the weapon sway. In fact, I'll throw it down there. It's a shame I can't upgrade it to eventually just be completely gone. Like, come on. Is the sway referring to, like, the actual crosshair moving, or the area in which the shot can go through? Uh, I mean, either or is good, but I don't know. Let's see. Decrease the, way, the sway on the target reticle for better accuracy. I think, I think, I'm pretty sure that just means the target reticle itself, the crosshair. That's fine, actually. <laughs> I'm alright with that. Okay! Let's hope I- all the stuff I put my points into won't be a total waste. I guess I will learn soon enough. Whoops. There. Alright, bye-bye, lady. I'm heading back into the real world with my best bud, Joey. Joseph. Before he dies. Because you know they're gonna. Someone's gotta die amongst my squad. And I really doubt it's gonna be Kidman. Because she's a girl in a Capcom game. Well, there have been plenty of girls who die in Capcom games, but in a horror Capcom game. Wait, is this a Capcom game? No, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. It's a Tango Gameworks game published by Bethesda. I was thinking of Capcom because Resident Evil public. I am so far gone, I am sorry. I'm not even in this world anymore. When I need to move bodies away from the elevator, I burn them into ashes. <laughs> yep. Anyways. I just expect Joseph to die and Kidman to live. She seems like she might be pretty important. So you want to chat? Talk about what's going on? Maybe get our findings together? Not- oh, we're dead. This is... a super long area? With not a lot of cover? Perfect place to either get shot or have someone fall off the bridge. And now I'm forced to walk? Yep. Something bad's gonna happen. Do you think Kidman is okay? I don't like that they used her as bait. Almost like someone's toying with us. Oh, conversation! That was dreadful! Oh. Hang in there. Just a little further. Just making sure they're dead. I still cannot run. Or move at the normal walking speed. Something's gonna happen, man. Oh, guillotine! You could have converted that guy. We can take them. 
No, that's no. not. No. Oh, Joseph. Well, called it. Something bad's gonna happen on the bridge. It's just a bit more exploding than I thought it was gonna be. Oh no. Oh no, they're gonna guillotine him! Joseph! There's gotta be some way I can stop him! Is that sniper rifle ammo? Okay. That's fine. That's good. It's, it's only three bullets, but I can make three bullets kill two people. I hope. The other one's still carrying it like Bleh. There we go. Alright, he'll live. You okay? I'm fine. No need to worry. Joseph, that was really bad of you. You shouldn't have tried running off like that. Although, to be fair, I would not have noticed the tripwire myself. So, you know what? You just saved us a little bit of trouble, actually. Because if we had been walking over that... <laughs> we would be dead. You should have just let them. Huh? The no, no, don't! It's just a matter of time. It's better this way. What the fuck? Oh, seriously? Well, at least they can't cross the bridge. They can cross the plank we just put down, though, so that's lovely. Maybe we should Let's go. kick it. Maybe we should kick it down. It literally would just- it would take a second. It would take a second to stop, remove the fucking bridge thing that we put down and move on with life. But no! No, this makes sense. Let them come after me. Whoops. Burn the wrong body. Oh! -ho! But that's okay. That small little delay is going to save me some trouble. Oh, jeez! I have a burning body. Okay. I'm trying to pick up the axe. So someone- yeah, I was about to say, someone's throwing shit at me. And I'm not someone who appreciates that. So I'm gonna go over there, and kill him real quick. It might sound like a bad idea, and that's because it is. Hurry, this way. Shut up, Joseph! Oh, what? Oh, okay. I wanted Joseph, to stay! Alright. I... Yeah. I don't know, man. You've got thoughts of suicide. Hey, look! The creepy angel! But I think, you know, maybe we can help him. I doubt it, because it's a horror game, but... Who knows? We'll see. I don't even know if that's a crow or a pigeon. I was gonna insult it if it was a crow. <laughs> Ooh, grenade. I mean, jeez, it's, it's pretty much like, any time I'm with Joseph, it's just gonna be constant fucking action, and constantly losing ammo. But alright, whatever. I like shooting things. Most of the time. Not so much when I'm inaccurate as all balls because of... A SWAY! But it's okay, because the detective guy... Who knows what he's gone through. This looks like some kind of a marketplace. It looks deserted, just like everywhere else. We ought to keep moving. Sure. But at least the food doesn't look like it's rotting. You know, I went to a village once. It was awful. Everything was just down, downtrodden. But they still had animals, so... 
They had that going for them. Father was a stern man, proud, and I thought intelligent. But he was also pious, a believer. Somehow he always supported the church, no matter what the newspaper said. a little said. harder to move lately? He waved away the allegations, as if they were infallible. The wretched, the vermin, the stern, all were taken in by that church. They were promised salvation and eternal life. But there's nothing they could promise that I couldn't take away. Oh. Ruvik! Did you and your father own the place and you just became like a really awful person? What a dick. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say every time I hear Rubik talk. I combined them with my brain today. I made them think awful things. Like that one time where I chopped off a crow's head. It just wouldn't stop talking. Did I say talking? I, I meant to say, uh... Squawking! <laughs> Aww. You can't trust crows, man. Never. Never in a horror game. Not that I've ever been attacked by crows. Yet. No, that's a lie. Alan fucking Wake. <laughs> Alan Wake. I got attacked by a crow. Ooh, yes. Okay, so apparently I can't max out my ammo. Or rather, if I don't have my gun reloaded, I can't pick up some ammo sometimes. And that's not a massive surprise, but sometimes it is. Oh, I'm not gonna burn the crow. Mm-hmm. You know, that's not so bad. Just... <laughs> gotta watch out for that stuff. Hello. I am Detective Sebastian Castellanos. I am here to beat the shit out of your village. And all of its boxes. Yeah, possibly take some parts for you. Or from you. See, look at that! That's not rotting, that's just open meat. There's no flies or anything like that. This place is fresh! Which means there's gonna be enemies that come through here eventually. Especially because it's a big open area. Bad things always happen in big open areas in a horror game. Like, shitloads of enemies coming to kill you. Yeah. Okay. This door is apparently for the Hobbit of the village, because that is fucking tiny. Uh, anything else that I could- hey, listen to that one, I believe. Pretty- yeah. <laughs> it can be hard to tell, you know, it's just a fucking recording on a table. And I'm guessing I might have to go all the way to that door in the distance. We'll see. Oh, I didn't even know that room was going to be breakable. Okay, let's break everything we can. Even if we don't know which one's breakable and which one's not. I'm glad Joseph's not questioning my methods, though. He's just like, he's a senior detective. He knows what he's doing. What would he say if I punched him? I can't hurt him. Okay. I think punching is always an effective method. I'm gonna stop here. Always an effective method of knocking someone out of mind control. And with that said, let horror begin! Or not! Well, that was tame. 